everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about how to get you out of that slump you are in. God damn it. Uh, so this slump you're in. It sounds very slumpy. It sounds like the slumpiest slump of all slumpity slumps. So this is how we're going to fix this, okay? And this is mainly about poetry, but this can be true about every single form of art, every genre of literature, okay? But I'm going to be talking about this in poetry for the example of poetry, okay? I hear a lot of people tell me that they can't get something done, they can't finish something, because... Like, they start it, and they start working on it, and they get some lines in, and they feel like it doesn't mean enough. They feel like it's not important enough to finish. It's, it's like there's nothing there. And people get fucking hung up on this. People want every fucking thing they write to be the most amazing fucking thing ever. And that's good. It's good to desire more, to desire a higher quality. It's, it's good as an artist to keep pushing yourself. But if you never finish anything, are you really an artist? Because an artist is someone who knows when it's done. A poet is someone who writes poems. Not someone who writes lines. Not someone who writes rhymes. Not someone who comes up with a couple of nice words strung together. A poet writes poems. Okay? If you are not writing poems, what the fuck are you? So, we have to look at this in this context. What is more important? You writing a poem that you think means the most that is the best thing you've ever written or you actually writing stuff and being a fucking poet. Okay. So the answer to this is make your poems mean as little as possible. Now, some of you might say that sounds counterproductive. That sounds fucking stupid. Fuck you, I say. Make your art, make your work mean as little as possible. And when you do this, when you are able to make things mean absolutely nothing, when you sprinkle in brilliance, it shines like a fucking diamond. Okay? That little bit, that little fucking glimpse of fucking. That's what makes it like that. Okay? And I've used this. Uh, I've said something like this in the past on one of these things, and I don't remember which one it was. But if you are in a room full of naked women, you're going to be, I'm in a room full of naked women. But if you are in a room with someone who is slowly taking off their clothes and having a drink and everything is moving at a speed, it becomes more, it becomes sensual, it becomes sexy, it becomes hot, the anticipation starts to blow your fucking mind. And then when the thing happens, it's a big deal. If you just walk into a room with a bunch of naked ladies, you're just in a room with a bunch of naked ladies. And you know exactly what's going to happen right then and there. Even though doing your thing with a bunch of naked ladies might seem like the greatest thing on earth. When you're done with it, is it? Is that the greatest thing on earth? Did you really have that good of a time? Did you? So look at your poem. 
Like, do you need every line in this poem to be the most magical, explosive fucking thing in the world? Do you want to be a poet with a portfolio of poems? Or do you want to be someone who is miserable, fucking wringing your own neck over one fucking poem that hopefully you'll be able to finish in a month? Jesus fucking Christ, that sounds horrific. So, make your poems mean as little as possible. And when you do that, specks of brilliance will shine through it. And people will see that. And people will appreciate that. Don't overthink it. You're already a creative fucking genius. All you have to do now is let others see it. Okay? Because being a creative genius in a room by yourself that nobody knows about, that, that doesn't fucking help anybody. In order to be an artist, you need to have people see and consume your art. Or else you're just a fucking dude in a room with a paintbrush. Okay? So, type art, everybody. Um... Preview of Dangerous Mind out now at my Etsy shop, and I will talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.